Siobhan, it's Hello. so nice to have you. It's so nice to have you here. How are you? I'm amazing. How are you? <laughs> yeah, I'm doing really, really well. Um, so as I've we've just been speaking before I press record, yeah. and uh, I I gave you a little bit of an insight into what. Uh, our community has been going through and we had a real focus recently on breath work and the power of the technology of, uh, of your breath and the body. And I thought it would just be an unbelievable experience to have you uh, speak about what your experience has been with breath work and how it's actually changed your life, how you came about like uh, having breath being such a major part of your life and also how you've been able to teach so many others to, to be able to utilize it to affect theirs. Yeah, for sure. Well, like, as I said before, it literally completely and utterly changed my life. Um, and when I was doing it, I was thinking like, how do people not know about the one thing that we use every single day that's free, that can completely, completely change like your emotions, your energy, how you're feeling in like a state, like it just changes it. Um, yeah, it literally just fascinated me. So I discovered it in Bali um, myself and Tom, my partner, were managing a gym over in Bali um, and we were setting up classes and we were kind of sitting at a community table. And there was a few people there and I was like, oh, hey, what do you do? What do you do? And, and one of the girls was like, oh, I, I teach um, breath work meditation. I was like, oh, I love meditation. Like I do guided meditation every day. Let's set up a class if you want to. And she kind of came in and took the group and me and Tom are like, oh, we'll just jump in. Anyway, did one session. It was not what I thought it would be, like lying on the floor, eyes closed, did a pattern to music. Um, and I completely seized up, like my whole body seized up. My fists were like clenched. My mouth was like really solid. Um, and I just had all these emotions and feelings and realizations. And I was like, what is happening? And, and I'm pretty good at surrendering. So I really surrendered to it. Um, and then, yeah, did one session and I was like, what happened? And then I just kept going and kept doing a couple of sessions. Then that's when I was like, where, where is the course? Like, where can I do it? How can I bring this back to Melbourne? And how does nobody know about it? So yeah, did the course in New Mexico with David Elliott and then came back to Melbourne and I was like, right, let's, let's just find a place and, and get people into breath work. So yeah, that was the the journey and quick and um yeah and then i just started um trying to advertise breath work and you know in my head i was like it's gonna go one way or the other because people are either gonna think it's a bit woo woo or they're like oh like you're gonna teach me how to breathe sort of thing um but it went the other way and people started trying it and then word of mouth and um it's literally changed so many people's lives like it did mine and yeah, I think I've had about over five, 600 people come through and do it in the past six months. So it's been crazy. Yeah, it's been really, really good. That's unbelievable. That's, that's incredible. And, and, you know, just touching on what you, what you said earlier about it being uh, a technology and, or, or, or a point, uh, a tool that we have every second mm -hmm. of every day that we're alive and people neglect it and, uh, on such a strong basis. And I feel like, in this modern society, when you neglect it and you don't think about it, you, it, it actually can work against you by doing shallow deep uh, chest breaths and it can almost enhance a stress response uh, yeah. when you're doing something uh, like this. But I'm really intrigued to know exactly, um, you know, what your experience was of delving into this, uh, this tool set and, and how it actually did affect you. Firstly, you said, you know, the physical response was you started to mm -hmm. see it up. What was going on internally for you? Yeah, so first of all, so the, the first breath, the first inhale is deep into the belly. So energetically in our bellies, that's where we store all our emotions. So the first breath's into the, the belly. Um, um, when I'm describing the class, I always say our, our belly is like a bucket of emotions. And ever since we're born, we're always suppressing stuff down, like being told to like be quiet, stop talking or being bullied or, you know, just being called names. It can be anything. Um, and we kind of shovel that down into this bucket. And the way I describe it is this type of breath work kind of goes into that bucket and starts opening up the layers. So normally we have lots of tears and yelling and crying, which really just is starting to shed the layers that we're holding. Um, and it really starts to create the space for who we really are right now. 
then the second mm-hmm. breath is into like the heart space. So it's lots of self-love and self-worth. And, and maybe that's been something that we've not had from like maybe um, lack of like parenting or love from our mom or our dad or previous relationships. Um, and then the exhale is just surrendering to all of that. So um, when I did the first session, the kind of the vibrations, um, the seizing, the cramping is all just that energy shifting and moving in the body. And um, so obviously mm-hmm. energetically, we have so much energy in our body, like so many vibrations and feelings. Um, and then emotionally, obviously the stuff that comes up as well is like the tears, the laughter, um, and you just can't control it. The breath is really just energetically shifting so much stuff or I say shit in our body and just creating all this lovely space at the end of the session so most people at the end of the session feel 10 kilos lighter because they've just got rid of all this trapped like held energy in the body so for me it was um a lot of forearm stuff and I always laugh because I was a sports coach um, and the five years previous to breath work I had a lot of forearm injuries so I was seeing mm-hmm physios, chiros, I've seen everyone. Um, and really like elite top people that were just like, what we, we don't know what's wrong with your forearms. Like we have no idea. It could be like this symptom and this and try this. And to the point where I like stopped training with barbells and I stopped lifting dumbbells because I'm like, what's going on with my forearms? Um, did the first session of breath work and they were like, cram they were sold I'm like I honestly thought I was bleeding like I was, my nails were hurting my hands so much the forearms felt like they were going to burst like they did in a training session um and then anyway when I asked the facilitator like why did my arms do that like I was really happy for them I'm quite happy to go through that knowing that it was a process and she said your arms are an extension of your heart so when you're doing the breath work, only you will know like what pain has gone and gone on in your heart space. Like, is it carrying anything energetic, energetically around it? And um, I'd gone through a series of past relationships where they were cheating on me. They were lying. I mean, my dad left my mom when I was really young and my heart space energetically was holding on to all that. So the mm. more I did the breath work, the more I journaled about all this stuff to do in my forearms. I just don't get any forearm pain anymore from breath work it's unbelievable yeah it's it's fascinating and like you know i've I've done a bit of reading about you know your body being your barometer to uh various different emotional um you know expressions and things like Mm -hmm. that and uh, it sounds like this is like bang on par with that and it, it also sounds like this um this process kind of you know, like I, I obviously speak at length with your partner, Tom, uh, yeah. and he's a, fan, he's a big fan of, of journaling. And it yeah. sounds like, you know, for me, journaling brings things to the surface to be able to deal with things on a, on a uh, conscious level. Um, yeah. And it sounds like this, uh, this work can also bring things to, to the surface, but like fast track it like you wouldn't believe. Yeah literally straight straight away so i kind of call it like a triple therapy session so i get people to do the breathwork session we have space at the end to like discuss and really talk about our experience and i can help people with like you know this is why i need to like watch them and see them breathe and and notice where their body's moving and changing um and then at the end i get them to journal like go away and journal themselves so they're kind of mm-hmm. doing the breathwork part they're doing the talk therapy and they're doing the journaling um, and normally they find that when they journal, more stuff comes up about whatever the breath work kind of brought to their attention. So it's, yeah, it's a, it's a really cool kind of way to do the session as well, just to get everything up to the surface. Um, Cause why wouldn't you want to know like what's in there? <laughs> Absolutely. It sounds incredible. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, so tell me a little bit about uh, if someone were to actually step into one of your classes, um, mm-hmm. obviously it would be wor- you'd be working virtually uh, now. Yeah, they're all virtual a- now. <laughs> all virtual beings now. Um, yeah. What, what's the first step, you know? Yeah, so, well, in terms of it being virtual, um, it's all through Zoom, which is great. And everyone obviously just needs to have their microphone and video working. Um, And if they don't, I just encourage them to download the app on their phone. Um, And we all sit at the start and just have a little bit of a chat. I get to kind of know everyone a bit briefly. If if there's like a specific thing they want to work on, a lot of people don't have anything. They're just like happy for the breathwork to show them maybe what they need to work on. Um, And Mm -hmm. that's like what I do these days. I'm like, just 
show me what I need to kind of focus on. Um, and then I obviously explain the breath work, explain physically, emotionally, explain the pattern. I watch every single person do it sitting up so I can see they're doing it and they're confident doing it. Um, and then I just get them to lie down, position the laptop or the phone so I can see like hips up because I really need to see the body moving so I can help at the end. Um, <coughs> they cover their eyes. I normally encourage headphones so they can really dive into the music. It's all done, all done to a playlist. Um, which is really good for the mind to focus on too. And it kind of really hits the emotions. The songs are time to do that. Um, and then at the end, so the breathwork pattern is about 30 minutes of pure, just doing the breathing. Um, we spend 10 minutes in a savasana and that's when all the juicy stuff kind of comes up. And then I hold space for about 10 to 15 minutes and everyone kind of has questions. I get everyone to share their experience. It's a must. Um, most people are still crying. <laughs> I'm like, you got to talk, you got to share. Um, yeah. And then they go away and journal about it. And that's kind of how the full hour works. And, and normally um, if I'm at the shed doing it, the hour is normally an hour to two hours because we all kind of really get into a good chat about it at the end, which is lovely. And everyone really feels they can open up which is yeah it's so beautiful yeah it's unbelievable uh, and, and and you know just drawing back to the fact that this is really just um directing your attention towards something that you have access to uh yeah. every second of every day that we're alive and uh, i feel like we're uh, underutilizing it on a on a daily basis so to be able to gu be guided by people like you to be able to bring uh, to use as a tool to bring your emotions up to the surface and then to be able to deal with them uh, afterwards is a, is a fantastic um, thing to have. Um, my community or our community that we're involved in is um, a community of, of fathers that are looking to really create and find balance in, mm -hmm. uh, in their lives. And, you know, there's, so many different uh, shifts in identity and uh, mm -hmm. time management, et cetera, when you become a father uh, and you continue to, you know, navigate the, the, the terrain of being a dad with, with everything, really. It's managing uh, your relationship with your own identity, uh, mm -hmm. then managing your relationship with your, with your partner if you, if you have a partner, and then obviously also navigating that, that, that family dynamic between all mm -hmm. three of you or have you five of you? Um, have you found uh, in your experience guiding people and the people that have been around with you, um, have you found that breathwork has helped with any kind of stresses surrounding this type of uh, family life? Yeah, it's really funny because this type of breathwork actually mainly attracts men. So my, <laughs> my main client base is men and obviously a lot of them are fathers. And some of them actually, if their kids are six and older, they do the breath work with their kids. So they encourage their kids to sit and do it with them in terms of time management. I'm like, get your kids involved, like tell them to come and, and do the breath work. But yeah, it's something, um, it definitely comes up a lot. I mean, I had a guy the other night and it took him right back to when he was with his wife and his wife was giving birth and how helpless he felt. And it really brought up all this motions that he couldn't express that to his wife at the time because they got this like lovely new child that's just come come into it and he's like well I couldn't like I didn't feel like it was in like there wasn't space there for me to be like well this is how I felt and this is how I feel so you know even bringing it back to when the child's born and and his emotions it's like well how were you feeling and how did you feel at that time and it really brought that up of them well I couldn't express that I felt helpless and it was very overwhelming so a lot of stuff like that comes up um in terms of like identity um, the breath work definitely brings up a lot of stuff about like self-worth, which, um, you know, people normally think that's a feminine thing. And for them, it's not. It's really it, it mainly brings them back to how they were brought up. So by their mom and their dad. Um, and I think it's Tony Robbins that always says, like, whose love did you crave the most, your mother's or your father's? And I always get them to go back and journal about, well, what was their parenting style and how is that reflecting on your parenting style? Maybe how could you na navigate it and learn from it um, and create the space and, and use all these amazing tools we have now to, to do breath work, to do meditation, to move your body and be an example to your kids of of how would you want that young girl or young man to, to learn and, and be brought up as well? Like just using all your resources that you have available, you know? I love and I it. just and think, I sorry, continue. Sorry, I was just, just one last thing. And I just think as well as, um, like as a parent, mom or dad, they, 
that you're always the example for your kids. So if you're not putting yourself first, how are you going to have and hold space for your children ever? Like you always need to put yourself, and I'm not a parent, but <laughs> through my learnings of, of the mind and the body, 100% like, you know, time, get up earlier, go to bed later, do something to create time for you so you can hold space for your kids, you know, all day. I think it's so important. I think, I think you hit the nail on the head and that is the premise mm -hmm. behind what, what we actually um, have, have learned ourselves through our own experience mm -hmm. at Hero. And it's like, if you don't have the uh, capacity to be able to feed and nourish yourself, you don't have the ability to be able to give that um, nourishment to your family, you know, to be able yeah. to support your family. It needs to be there for yourself in order to be able to give to your family. It's that, it's that whole oxygen mask uh, analogy. Yes, yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, it needs to be, it just needs to be the case because, and, and, and you know what, including myself, I fell into uh, the trap when I was, when I first became a father to be able to just do, just be around being busy doing uh, as opposed to feeling and, uh, mm -hmm. and giving to myself so I could actually provide um, support emotionally and otherwise for my family. Um, and a lot, I think it's a very masculine trait and you, I don't know if you, this may come up for a lot of your, um, your clients in, in, in the breath work. And that is, you know, in, initially a lot of men like this, this guy that you were, um, you know, speaking to, uh, he didn't feel like he had the, the right to bring up, um, mm -hmm. what he was experiencing at that time yeah. in his family's life. And I know a lot of uh, men in the art of healthy dads, our community feel and experiencing the very same thing. They don't feel like they have the space to be able to say, Hey, I'm feeling vulnerable here and I need to actually explore my own situation so I can actually um, support myself and then support everyone around me. Yeah, it's so true. And I always encourage them in, especially in our relationships and for the women as well, even like set aside like time at night, like 30 minutes when I mean, even if you have a partner, not find a friend um, 30 minutes at night. Hey, I'm just going to hold space for you to talk and I'm not going to talk for like 30 minutes and then you're going to do the same. It's going to be the same back. There's going to be no TV. The phones will be away. This is our time and we're going to really hold space for each other. And the whole thing of holding space is sitting, listening. There's no judging um, mm -hmm. and you just have time to talk to each other or even sit and be like, hey, we have 30 minutes. Let's do a meditation together and then talk afterwards. There's like a million free apps or do breath work together. And then talk about how we're feeling like I'm really like get into it. And I feel like if you can't talk to your partner about how you're feeling, like that's something you also need to look at too, because why can't you tell your partner how you're feeling? And that's just mm. like a whole other story, but you should, it should be something that um, I would definitely encourage people to do, you know, yes. it's, it just, it makes you, it's like, it's good for you, your relationship and your children. I couldn't, I couldn't agree more. Like it's a <laughs> completely and, and a profoundly important part of your relationship and your relationship with yourself. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, there's, there's that emotional side of things. There's also the physical side. And it seems like this breath work is actually um, contributing to both, which is uh, incredibly mm -hmm. powerful. And um, yeah. you, you mentioned that uh, there is a, a link that we'd be able to share with, uh, with the guys here at the Art of Healthy Dads. Um, yeah, what, I'll send what, it to you. Yeah, sure. what, what does that encompass? So that's just like, it's like a mini, I just call it like a mini intro to breath work. It's the, actually the full name is breathwork meditation healing because it is a healing modality. Right. And I literally sit and explain it as I would to a class, probably a bit, a bit quicker just to kind of get into it. Um, and then I get you guys to, same as a class, lie down, set yourself up. You can just listen to the laptop to the breath work pattern. It's, I think it's about um, maybe 10 minutes of breath work. And then at the end, um, there's just a little bit of, of downtime, like a little bit of a savasana. Um, and when you've got used to the breath work pattern, there's actually another video on there that's just got the kind of the breath work shed logo. Actually, that's it behind me there. And it's, it's like a 13 minute breath work pattern where you can do that when you feel confident doing like the smaller version of it. So yeah, it's Amazing. definitely, and, and it's something you can do 
every single day. So you can just like press play. And then when you've got used to it, like pick, find two songs that you love, like pick two songs you love, start doing the breath work pattern to those songs every day. It kind of gets you out of a funk or your mood or just gets you up and about. Um, so it's something you can use every day at home for free. Um, and then obviously the classes are like 45 minutes. So they're, <laughs> they're a whole other journey. <laughs> Which is incredible because, uh, and mm. how to, you know, we'll, we'll leave your details, um, you know, with with the people that are watching this as well. And mm -hmm. uh, they'll be able to just contact you. I'm assuming there's a contact. Yeah, I'll go for it. Any questions? I'm so open to anyone just asking anything about it. Yeah. Amazing, Siobhan. Uh, look, thank you so much for coming on. My and pleasure. At the breath. And I think just the guys are going to find it so valuable given the last month that we've had and the power of breath and how it's, how it's actually affected myself. I, I actually set an intention on a daily basis to be able to do a Facebook live every day at 3 PM. Um, mm -hmm. is the that is to be able to just turn up and do some form of breath work um, on the community and it, it was a really incredible, uh, powerful and consistent experience. And con yeah. I found that consistency was really um, a really powerful step to take as well. Yeah, routine, routine is very powerful too. <laughs> yeah. Unbelievable. Well, Siobhan, thank you once again. It Pleasure, was, uh, thanks for having me. Thank you for coming on, appreciate it. No worries.